Hi, this is Tony from Landshack.com and today I will show you a tip that you may find to be extremely useful. There may come a time when you need to pull one or more cable assemblies through a conduit or other space. To do so will require a dependable way of attaching a pull string to the cables that will be strong while not causing damage to the cables or terminations. Before attaching the pull string, we should first add a layer of plastic wrap over each connector to prevent any possible contamination. I will use stretch wrap for this purpose. We'll pull it as we're attaching it, stretching it around, just to keep it in place. I'm going to take a piece of electrical tape and I'm going to do one turn of electrical tape. <clears throat> I'm going to take the end of the electrical tape and I'm going to fold it back slightly. That'll make it a lot easier for us to take this off when we're ready. Now that all three cables are protected on the ends, next I will stagger the connectors on each cable to make the head smoother. I will put a piece of electrical tape over the group to hold them temporarily in place as we begin to attach the string. Once again I will fold over the tape to make it easier to take off later. Okay now we'll get ready to put the string on as you can see we're going to be planning to pull in this direction so I'm going to put the string on from the back going forward and I'll tell you why later um, we're going to use a knot it's called a lock stitch and what it basically is it's not really exactly a knot but we're just going to double over the string onto itself and I'll show you what I mean let's make sure we have plenty of extra string and I'm going to start with the first lock stitch nut. I'm going to take the loop, I'm going to put it over the three cables, and we're going to go about a foot back, and there is our first lock stitch nut. You see how simple that is? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another piece of electrical tape, and I'm going to put it right here, just to kind of hold that in place. The knot will actually tighten itself up later on, but for now we need this. And again, we're going to put an edge on the tape so it's easy to take off. So here's our first lock stitch knot, right? Now we're going to go down the cable again. We're going to double the string over, put it over the three connectors, and we're going to do our second lock stitch knot right there. Okay, and then we're going to continue to do so as we go up the cable. We're going to get this connector locked in. Then we're going to do the next one. We'll get the next connector locked in. And then finally, our last connector on the end, we'll get that one also locked in. There we have it. And there we go, we're ready to pull in. Now, at the beginning I did say that there was a reason for me putting the string on in this configuration, okay? The front, the leader part, will be attached to another string which we will be used to pull it in. And the back end of the string, will leave that attached to the bucket because as we're pulling this in, it will automatically add a pull string to it. So if we ever need to pull an extra cable, Okay, so now we have our lock stitch knots all ready and our cable is ready to be pulled in. All right, so now let's say we were gonna attach this onto another string that we're coming down the hole inside of the ceiling. Here's the knot to make. For polypropylene rope, I find that only one knot seems to work. If you put the two cables together parallel, 
and just make one simple knot like so. That is the best, strongest knot for polypropylene rope. If you try to do a square knot or something like that, usually that'll slip. This will stay put. We're very happy to bring you this very useful tech tip. Thank you for coming to Landshack.com and please remember us for all of your cabling and connectivity needs.